If you are working with large data sets, you probably notice that some of the parameters of your sheet can repeat, like the name of a client or a product, for instance. On many occasions, you might need to extract a sample which identifies the unique names of a list by ignoring any duplicate information, like in the example on the screen. If you have been wasting time doing that manually, don't worry. After watching this video, you will understand how to do it automatically by using the tool Remove Duplicates. So let's check how it works. The easiest way to create a unique list of parameters in Excel is through the Excel tool Remove Duplicates, available in the data menu data tools and here you need to click on this icon remove duplicates before we demonstrate how to use this tool though you need to be clear on what you are trying to do with your data set at the first place in this example we have the sales entries in a store each entry here represents a different sale that took place this month if i look at this row 5 for instance i can see this sale took place in the first day of the month and it was done by the salesperson Linda. Here she managed to sell a TV set for the price of $1,055. If I now look at this row 20, I can see that in the second day of the month, the salesperson John sold a tablet for $260. So basically, this is another sales event from this dataset. This is a very large data set, so imagine your manager asks you to quickly create a summary of this data. The first information your manager wants to access is the number of items sold by each sales executive. As a starting point, you then need to identify how many sales executives there are in this list and who they are. In other words, you basically need to identify a unique list of sales executives from this data set. To do that, let's copy the contents of this column C and paste it here in this column G. You can then select the contents of this column G and in the data menu, click on this icon, remove duplicates. As you initially selected only this column G, this message box will come out asking you if you want to expand your selection as Excel understands you might need to work with this information number of items sold from this column H. As this is not the case in this example, we can simply mark this option continue with the current selection and click on remove duplicates. Here you need to confirm one more time that this action will be applied just over this variable called sales executive and you can then click on OK. Excel then displays this message saying that 466 duplicate values were found and removed and only four unique values remain. So we can click on OK again, and we can see we have a total of four different or unique sales executives in this company. They are John, Matt, Linda, and Karen. Your manager wants the number of products sold by each sales executive, which can be easily done with the function count if. So insert that function in the cell H3. There are two arguments in this function. The argument range is basically the entire column C, which represents the name of the sales executive who made each sale. The argument criteria is then the name John C from cell G3. You can then close brackets and press enter. As each entry in this data set represents the sale of a product unit, we can see John has sold 122 times across all products on sale at the store. We can then press F2 in this cell and use absolute reference for the range argument of this function and then expand it down to all sales executives. Here, we can also make a quick check by creating a total at the bottom of this table. So, insert the auto sum in the cell H7 to sum all the cells above. Let's also insert the word total in this cell and add the bold effect to both cells. We can confirm this number 470 is correct by selecting the entire column C again and verifying that the count of these cells is the same number.
Using the same logic, let's now create a unique list for the variable product sold. So copy this entire column D and paste it in this column J. Now press Ctrl A to select this entire summary table and again click on this option Remove Duplicates. Note that this time Excel has not asked me if I wanted to expand my selection as I have already done that in advance. Now in this menu you basically need to select which columns of your summary table you want to apply this tool. We know that the columns number of items sold and average price will be calculated through functions, so the only column we need to select here is this one related to product sold, which means we can unmark these options we don't want. In case you have many columns to work with, you can then use these tools on the top here. If you click on Select All, all the options will be marked. In our case, we can then click on Unselect All and just mark the first option. By the way, an important thing to note in this menu is this option named My Data Has Headers. This is to show that the first cell of your column is a header and therefore it should not be part of your selected range. If you leave this option unmarked, Excel will then also select the titles of your table. As we have headers in this case, just leave this option ticked and click on OK down here. Once again, four unique values remain, so press enter and we can see that TV, mobile, laptop and tablet are the unique products extracted from the original list. We can then quickly identify the number of items sold for each product by using again the function count if. So insert that function in the cell K3. The argument range this time is this range from column D, which displays all the names of the products sold in each sales entry. The argument criteria is basically the word TV from cell J3. Close brackets and press enter. We can see there were 128 TV sets sold in the store this month, and we can now use absolute reference for the range argument of this function and expand it down. To calculate the average sale price of each of these products, we can then simply use the function average if. So insert that function in the cell L3. The argument range is again this range from column D. The argument criteria is again the word TV from the cell J3. And the argument average range is this one from column E. You can then close brackets and press enter. Let's then use absolute reference on both range arguments of this function and again send it down. In terms of total, we don't need to sum anything for this last column, but let's sum up all the products sold in this column K. And let's type the word total in this cell and make the final formatting bit to make it more presentable. We can then see this number is consistent with the first summary table we built before. So far, we created a unique list for the names of the sales executives and a unique list for the products which were sold. However, what if your manager asks you how much revenue each of those sales executives generated for each type of product? If that's the case, you basically need first to identify a unique combination of these two variables and the process is very similar to what we have done so far. So select in this case both columns C and D. Copy them and paste them in these columns N and O. With this selection in place, go back to the menu data and click once again on Remove Duplicates. We can see in this menu that we are ready to go, so here just click on OK. Excel has then eliminated 454 duplicate values and only 16 unique values remain. This number was expected here, as we only have four unique sales executives selling four unique products, so the maximum combination we could have is four times four, which is 16, and that unique combination list is now represented here. 
to calculate the revenues, we basically need to sum the values from column E based on the two conditions, which are sales executive and product sold. This can be easily done with the function sum ifs. So insert that function in the cell P3. The first argument here is the sum range, which is this portion of column E. We can then set the sequence of criteria range and the criteria itself we want. So for the argument criteria range 1, we need to select this column C, which shows all the names of the sales executives in each sales event. For the argument criteria 1, we basically need to select the cell N3, which is the sales executive John in this case. We can do a similar process for the second criteria, which is related to the product names. So for the argument criteria range 2, select this range from column D, press comma, and for the final argument criteria 2, select this cell O3. You can then close brackets and press enter. We can then see the sales executive John sold just over $38,000 this month in terms of TV sets. Let's then press F2 in this cell and insert absolute reference in all the ranges of this function, and we can again expand this function down. Once again, let's insert the total down here in this table and apply the usual format just so all tables look similar. Total revenues for all executives across all products in this month was just over $304,000. Again, we can double check if this number is correct by selecting the contents of this entire column A and checking the sum on the bottom right side of your screen. We can then confirm this is right. By combining the two remove duplicates with these math and statistical functions, you can quickly perform insightful analysis of your data set. Now a bonus tip on this topic. In this video, we use the tool Remove Duplicates to identify unique lists for the purpose of creating relevant summaries of this large dataset. This is the most common use of this tool. However, on some occasions, you might just be interested in removing values from a dataset which you believe was mistakenly duplicated. So if that was the case of this example, and assuming you wanted to remove duplicate values like this one, you can then use the same tool to perform this cleaning exercise. So here, press Ctrl A to select the entire dataset, and again, click on Remove Duplicates. In this case, all columns must be part of the selection, which is reflected here, so just click on OK. As a result, there were only six duplicate values found and removed from your dataset. However, this is not the case in this specific example, as every sales entry represents a different sales event, so press Ctrl Z to come back to the original dataset. And that's how you use the tool Remove Duplicates to produce unique lists. Creating unique lists is very useful, but it becomes even more powerful when you combine it with other Excel tools or functions just like we demonstrated. If you want to learn more about Excel, and how to integrate different tools to save your time, access my website kinant.com. I put together an entire Excel training which will help you to become an advanced Excel user and save your time at work. The link is on the description. Finally, if you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up. All the best and see you in the next video.